Hey guys, my name is Batumio, and today's challenge, I'm going to be using the Riot Shield to kill my enemies in Battlefield 4. This honestly has to be the most worthless gadget in the game. Offensively, and I realize this is not an offensive gadget, I understand that this is not meant to take people out whatsoever, but what I don't understand is why does its damage need to be completely random? There are times where I'll run up to an enemy, hit him twice, and he dies from 100% to zero. There are other times where I'll smack him three or four times just to drop him. There are other moments where it will notify me that I got a headshot. I don't know how I got a headshot with the riot shield, but it will notify that that's what I just did, and he'll kill me half a second later, and the kill notification will inform me that he still has 95% of his health. This very fact was easily one of the most frustrating aspects about this challenge. I would enter a room being stealthy, that was really the only way I was going to be somewhat successful, I needed to be stealthy and, and try to catch my enemy off guard, I would enter a room with two enemies, I would proceed to try and bash one of them, get three hit markers, and then of course the other enemy would realize I was there, the other one, the one I'm hitting, realizes I'm there as well, and they would proceed to take me out absolutely no problem. And so the question that I have for DICE is, why is the Riot Shield the only thing in the game that has this random factor to it, or at least in the damage department? You look at every other weapon, or even really every gadget in the game, and their damage is reliable, but that's not the case with the Riot Shield. Maybe I'm looking at this wrong. Maybe I'm hitting a certain part of their body, and I'm just not understanding that, that those hits do less damage compared to others. But like I mentioned, I've gotten headshots, and I, I die a second later, and they still have 95% of their health. Like, I just, I don't, I don't understand uh, the damage. And so honestly, if this thing was just consistent, if it required just two hits to, to drop someone from 100% to zero, or even better, just three hits, that would have made this challenge, and honestly, this gadget a lot more fun to use. You could bounce between targets way more consistently, simply because you knew when you would reliably drop someone from 100% health. It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, another thing that drove me crazy crazy, but honestly it was pretty funny when it happened, was that this thing is awful at taking out prone targets. You would assume that if you came across a camping prone recon off in the distance, you, you moseyed on over, you took the time to flank him and, ca and catch him by surprise, that you would have an easy free kill. The joke's on you. For whatever reason, as soon as you try to bash him while he's prone, not only can you not see him because you can't actually angle the riot shield down, you can't look at the ground while you're using a riot shield, which is realistic, but you, you don't even seem to get hit markers. I was bashing away at this recon for a good couple of seconds. I got a few hit markers here and there, but then he just whipped around with his pistol, shot at my feet, and won the firefight. It was embarrassing. I, I, I cried a little bit when it happened, but it, it's just one of those things where you're like, you should be vulnerable. I should be able to get the kill here, but for some reason, the hit registration when they're on the ground just doesn't register with the riot shield, and of course, it results in these very humiliating deaths. Now that's just its offensive capabilities. When we move on over into its defensive, what the gadget is designed for. The Riot Shield, as I know all of you guys are very aware, is meant as a, meant to be a defensive tool, but even in this category, it fails miserably. There are moments where I will crouch down, stare at the person who is shooting at me, and they will still proceed to get hit markers and kill me a second later. I don't know if it's the net code, I don't know if it's just because the Riot Shield glitches. The shield is still intact, like they can't shoot through uh, the little plate in front of me. That's still 100% there, but for whatever reason, they proceed to continue to get hit markers and you die. When that happens, you want to you want to punch the screen. It's like, why am I even using this gadget? There are other moments where I will be bashing someone's face in. I will have my shield, of course, directly in, in, in right in front of their gun, and they'll still somehow be able to one-shot me with a shotgun. It's like, you can't even see my body. The, the shield is right in your face. How is there any part of my body even remotely vulnerable for you to get access to to be able to kill me. That of course happened over and over again. There are moments where you'll be crouched down strafing and you'll get shot at from a slightly different angle from where you're pointing at and of course of course you will die as well. This thing just does not function as a defensive item. Like I said, I don't know if it's because of the net code. I don't know if it's just a problem with the riot shield glitching out and exposing a certain part of your body that doesn't appear that it's supposed to be exposed. I don't know what the case is, but right now in its current state, it just does not serve any function whatsoever. And in my eyes, it is just completely useless. And so it was for these very reasons, as I know all of you guys are very aware, since you're the ones that recommended it, you guys have been recommending this challenge for like half a year now, uh, it's for this defensive and offensive capabilities why this challenge was a nightmare. 
The thing is, though, at one point in its development, the Riot Shield wasn't terrible. I don't know if you guys remember this, but during the CTE, when we were first testing uh, the Riot Shield for the upcoming DLC, it was awesome. It felt like it could take more damage. It felt like it could take way more punishment, not just from uh, grenades, but just from bullets, but also could one-shot people. Granted, its ability to one-shot was overpowered, and, that, and I understand why they nerfed it, but what I don't understand is why it has to be in this pitiful state that it is right now. Why the random damage? Why the inconsistency in its defensive capabilities? It, it, it just, I, I don't know, maybe it's just because I hate having useless things in the game, but this was really rubbed me the wrong way when I was running around trying to get kills with it. And so overall, while I would not say that this should be a high priority on the part of DICE, I'm kind of hoping that they do something to improve the Riot Shield. We do not need to have useless things in the game. It just bloats it, it makes, it makes it completely unviable, and maybe they just don't like the idea of having a defensive item like this. Maybe they, they want to make it focused on other aspects. They want to focus it on the shooter component, and they think that that detracts from the experience. Maybe that's the reason why they nerfed it into oblivion, but if you're going to have something in the game, at least make it viable. That's just my two cents. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is about it for today's challenge. I hope you enjoyed. I, I will admit, getting two kills in a row with this gadget was incredibly gratifying, simply because of all the other things that I had to overcome. But other than those moments, it was just a nightmare, and so I hope you guys enjoyed my pain. Uh, but yep, if you have a challenge that you would like me to try in a future episode, let me know down below. It can be a gadget that you would like me to use exclusively. It can be a weapon with a terrible combination of attachments. Let me know down below. Uh, but yep, yeah, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.